What's up guys and girls, it's EP with Styles of Life. Today's the big day, moving to New York City, Brooklyn to be exact. I'm gonna hit the ground running like I said I would. I'm excited, but it's bittersweet, you know. Yesterday was my graduation day. Uh, finished school about three months ago, but they didn't do a walk until, you know, after spring term. They don't do a winter term walk, so I did the spring term one. And I wouldn't have it any other way, you know. Did it with all my friends that I've made throughout the year. Um, close friends for that matter. A lot of memories being made. It's crazy because I never thought I'd make as many relationships. I never thought I'd build as many relationships as I did throughout this this year for that matter. Since so this whole school year, it's been a lot of growth, meeting a lot of people, and experiencing a lot of things. I believe what is most important is uh, the person I've become and what I've learned, which is to give as much love as possible and to be as much love as possible. To be loved, you know what I mean? Not to be loved, but to be loved. To always show love, give love, represent love everywhere I go. Um, and that's hard for a lot of us out here. And that's how the world the world really works. I think love is what strengthens this universe. And love and hate is so close on each other that it's baffling to me to see so much hate. Like I'd rather just acknowledge love even if it isn't acknowledged as much. We talk all this this negativity upon others, but then forget to realize that there are agendas at hand, and everyone has their own hidden agenda. But me, I I don't see the point in hidden agendas anymore. I'm gonna be upfront and be honest and be real with everything I say and I do. Um, I've been that way, and I'm gonna continue to do that on a larger scale. And I realize after this movement, this transition, me moving to New York. Today, tonight, um, it's making me realize a lot. It's making me realize that there's no time for negativity. There's no time for anything. I think, and most importantly, I'm seeing all these people show hate, but it's really because they have hate for themselves, deep down, subconsciously, or even on a conscious level. A lot of people are depressed. A lot of people are anxious. A lot of people, a lot of people are facing and dealing with mental illnesses. I have been one before. I've had friends, close friends, best friends, where I would reach out and they wouldn't respond or act like I don't exist when it's really people are dealing with themselves and I want to reach out and help them on a personal level. But what I've learned is that sometimes you can't help people on a personal level, even if they are one of your closest friends, relatives, or like someone you surround yourself on a daily basis in a certain time period of your life. I think the strongest way to influence and impact people throughout life is through the internet. That's the beauty of it. I think the world is gonna change soon for the better because of the internet, because of social media, because we are able to document and able to talk in front of a camera and say what we need to say and share what we wanna share because everyone out there is on Twitter, on Snapchat, on Instagram, on Facebook, retweeting, reposting, sharing, liking things that are negative or positive, but mostly negative. And it's the same, same thing as the news before, and that's why I went ghost off <laughs> the industry, basically, for a couple years to work on myself and to read and to learn positivity and to become more positive, have a more positive mindset. But I think what's really important is that I take this to the next level and share with the world what positivity really is. It's a mindset. It's influence. It's being able to say one thing and having it click with others. I can say a bunch of things, but one of my sentences that I say throughout all of my things that I say can reside or resonate or click with someone just like it has for me through books or my mentors or all the people I do look up to. It's always one quote or one 
sentence that changes their mindset, that clicks and helps them realize that positivity is something that's real, is something that we can chase and become better every single day. At, I think that's the most important part, and I think I'm gonna try my hardest in this world to do it, not just for me, because it started with me. It started with me loving myself and understanding myself and realizing that I want to become better for myself. And then I started meeting more people and receiving more love and giving more love and having more love in my life that I realized it's bigger than just me. It's bigger than just me. It's way more than just me. Like, I didn't even know I was going to move to New York, but the more I spoke into existence, the more I said I'm moving to New York, and the more people surrounded, my, my, surrounded me and, like, supporting me in what I wanted to do, even though I don't know what's gonna happen in New York. I don't know what I'm gonna do, who I'm gonna meet, where I'm gonna go, what job I'm gonna do, like what I'm gonna do, like I don't even know. But all I know is I told people I'm in New York and then I bought a one-way ticket without an apartment or a job and people became impacted and influenced on a whole new scale telling me that they're gonna do things and they might not do it, but it's, it still clicks with them in a certain way. It, it's still a thought that goes through their head. And I think that's what's important right now, right here, is to continue to do what you gotta do and to document and to talk more and share more and to do more, right? And I think because of the internet, like I said, it brings it to a larger scale. It might not even be my closest friends. Or it might not even be any people I know. It might be people out there in the internet that sees these videos, see me talking, see me on the internet. and. It just happens to inspire them or motivate them or share love with them because at the end of the day, loving is possible. Giving love is possible. It's a choice, really. It's a hard choice to make. It's a hard choice to wake up every single day and be positive. It's really hard, but it's possible, all right? And I'm gonna show you guys it's possible. That's the thing. And trust me, dude, I'm excited though, like, I'm excited. I'm gonna I'm hit the ground running in Brooklyn. I'm gonna take you guys with me. I'm gonna try to record as much as possible, but you know, hey, we're not all perfect, and I'm a perfect example of non perfection, right? So, hey, stay tuned though, guys. On the way to the airport, just got done eating. Look at my mom. Trying to hold it together. Hi. Let me do that. Yeah. Do we do? Yeah. My dad's asking you. He's wondering if Shiloh knows he's leaving. They pack it. Let me Yeah. I'm saying he knows. He's a smart dog. He sees me packing. He sees me leaving. Look at him. Look at him. The adventures of Eric and Shiloh. Come as close Are you ready, Eric? You when you hear the wind blows, but through this unstoppable okay. storm of love remains that drives me in. Are you really shy? I feel we got so far in the game. Now everything's on fire. How to make it come again? We're crashing like a plane, and they say no rain. Made it through security. It's kind of sad. Waving bye to my mom and dad. But it's like a new journey though. It wasn't like the last time where it was, where there was tears involved and like we're waving bye like it's gonna be a long time since we see each other. Cause the last time that happened is when I said bye to my grandfather, right? And that was sad. That was me on the other end saying bye grandfather. And I was crying. Oh man, but this time it's two new beginnings. And I know I see my parents are, are proud of me, so that's what matters most to me. And honestly, I got Shiloh with me, so I'm not alone. And I made it through. And honestly, it was a, it was a process though, because everything was smooth, but then they had to check for the dog food and the lighter, and there's a lighter, but I didn't want the lighter because it's not even mine, I don't smoke anymore. <laughs> but it was my dad's lighter, and he doesn't smoke anymore either. It was just in the bag, because we have a travel bag. Um, but 
there was a, also a totem that my mom gave me from a monk that was blessed by a monk, right? And the totem was like this gold, gold dagger looking thing. And they said they can be used as a martial arts weapon. <laughs> <laughs> it's so ridiculous. It's literally a totem that wasn't even sharp. But whatever, you know what I mean? I didn't. I, I gave it back to my mom. Good thing they were waiting. So then everything was smooth. That's all that matters. Next time you catch me, it's gonna be in New York. But hey, look, I'm gonna take a shot over there. Cause your buddy drank some water earlier and he needs to go potty, right? He's gonna use There you go. Y'all don't need to see this, so y'all will stay tuned. <laughs> Just touched down in the JFK, New York. Shiloh got super scared this time. He was shaking, shaking, shaking. But hey, we made it. About to go get baggage claim. I'm about to let him go get some water first. And then go grab a cart, go baggage claim, grab my luggage, get a lift, go to the apartment, and it's home. 